aid and supply relief. For its part, the Yemeni government rushed to confirm the readiness of the ports of Aden, Al Mukalla, and the processing of a dry port in Ma'rib to receive relief supplies coming from the Kingdom of uh, Saudi Arabia uh, by land. Uh, on the other hand, uh, King Salman Humanitarian Aid and Relief Center on Sunday dispatched convoy loaded with 17 containers of medical supplies and equipment to Yemen. Abdullah Rabia, the ro royal corps, and also uh, King Salman Relief Supervisor said uh, Sunday, and the convey consisted of 11 containers carrying 279 types of medical supplies to the Republican uh, Hospital in Aden and 25 types of medical equipment and supplies for the Central Medicinal and uh, Pharmacology Storage Units at the Yemeni Ministry of Public Health and Housing in Aden. It also included six containers headed to Ma'rib General Hospital Authority, containing 235 types of medical supplies. He said another ground convoy to ties will take place soon, and the center delivers and monitors a humanitarian assistance in coordination with the local partners and UN organizations, as well as the legitimate Yemeni government. Arabia urged the UN to carry out its responsibilities via its organizations operating in the Yemen to ensure delivery of a humanitarian aid and he said the center monitors its assistance until supplies reach the beneficiaries. Dr. Abdul Raqib Al Haidari, the Yemeni Deputy Assistant Minister of Public Health and Housing, expressed the Yemeni government's appreciations to King Salman humanitarian gesture. Such conditions requires intensified efforts in this regard and provision of medical assistance in order to reduce the volume of health crisis. Uh, to know more about this subject, we are going to be jo joined, or we are going to be joined by Dr. Hussein Lagwar, the political analyst. And before we start our discussion, let's have this report. Welcome back, dear viewers. We are going to be joined uh, by Dr. Hussain Lagwar, the political analyst here in the studio. Dr. Hussain, welcome to the program. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Hussain, before we start our discussion when it comes to the, uh, uh, actually, the uh, medical supplies that were seized by the, the, the Kuma militias, uh, it's uh, worth shedding light and mentioning that uh, Deputy Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz said in his interview two days ago concerning the Yemeni crisis and file that the war became necessary and unavoidable. Uh, what is the Houthis militia as a threat to our national security in this regard? <coughs> well, if we make a look on the history of the Houthi relationship and its links with the regional forces in the region, Iran, and other militias in Lebanon, in Iraq, in Iraq uh, we can detect really there is a danger. Any will be 
accumulated day after day or have been accumulated day after day toward the the stability first of all of the of the area of the of the region and then especially uh, against Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. for that reason we say or we call this war is the war of necessity it's not it is not yani an option it is not a choice of of uh, Saudi Arabia under the, 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 the Arab coalition, it is just by necessary back after uh, many uh, signs have been uh, sent by the Houthi and even the military maneuvers have been taking place uh, many, many places, uh, near the Saudi border and also the concussion of Aden and sending their forces to Aden which was been uh, tr trying at that time, or has been trying to, to try to, 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 to get rid of, of Houthi and get rid of uh, Austin president forces. These signs give the alert to Saudi Arabia and the Arab coalition that the danger is there, and tomorrow Iran will be involved directly in this region and will send their. Uh, reflectionary guard directly to the border of Saudi Arabia and they can, can do anything and they don't care. They can uh, recruit thousands and thousands of soldiers from the country because you know, everybody knows the, how uh, the poverty in the country and uh, also some people were under the influence of al Houthi. And we'll and have a copy of Hezbollah in the region. Yes, and they want to do really a copy and they, want, they are planning to have a copy of Hezbollah in, mm -hmm. in, uh, through Al-Houthi in Sana'a. Mm -hmm. For that reason, uh, the decisive storm came in proper time, by proper action, by proper coalition between different countries, Arab countries, that mean uh, to support uh, each other in order uh, to, to, to achieve their, their, their goals, to defend their interests, to reestablish this legitimate government in the country and to uh, help to liberate uh, of the southern part mainly and the other, of course, the other, the other region. For that reason, we can say this is, it was war of necessity, it is not a war of option. Mm -hmm. uh, for uh, that uh, unavoidable. Uh, this is unavoidable. Mm -hmm. You cannot avoid it. Mm -hmm. For that uh, reason, Prince Mohammed bin Salman said that that it was unavoidable war. So we went to the war and we uh, uh, we handled it in the proper way according to the request again, the request of also from the legitimate president who, who asked the help according to the treaty Arab of the Arab League between the Arab countries that there is a treaty which. Uh, in case of any country demand the help of or the aid of uh, any other c Arab c uh, country, they can, they, can, they can help. So for that reason, it was a legal and uh, a legitimate uh, war and nobody uh, even discussed this legitimacy of the war. So for that reason, and I, um, for myself, I don't think uh, we should discuss the legitimacy of this war. This is finished. This is um, because the decision 2216, which came four weeks after the beginning of the war, it gives really a good support and admit the, the legitimacy of this war. So for that reason, it has uh, no reason to discuss it or to say it is a legitimate or illegitimate <coughs> war. No, this is finished, I think, mm -hmm. for that reason. But but at the same time, uh, as Prince Muhammad said, it, is, it was really an ended uh, a war uh, of necessity in this region. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, great. Uh, now uh, we are going to uh, discuss uh, the new violations and the crimes committed by Houthis. Dr. Hussein, the Houthi and Saleh militias have confiscated, as I mentioned earlier in the introduction, medication, renal dialysis equipment uh, for the, the, uh, from a Thawra hospital in the Taz governorate in Yemen. Doesn't this act threaten the lives of hundreds? of local patients with kidney failure and also uh, isn't uh, considered a criminal act well i am not astonished to to hear that or to watch it yani, on the tv for example what uh, they have done you know they have done real because this is a behavior of this type of groups 
of militia. And it's a continuation of their crimes. It is, it is, it is, it is not something strange. It is not something new to do, really, mm -hmm. really, because even those people, the leaders of this gang, the leader of this militia, uh, really the, 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 the infest in the, in, the, in the suffering of the, uh, the people in the country in order to get more and more uh, aid and more, and, and this aid are, we're not going to, 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 the, to the need, to the people in need. It, it was being uh, held by, by, by the militia leaders and then they put it in the black market and they get the money and the money will be distributed between them and they become you know, just new rich people in, in these two years. You cannot believe it in Sana'a. Many people know how the uh, how this leader of the Houthi group and militia became owners of, of building and cars and uh, villa and, and just in, in uh, one year and a half or two years of this war because they are profiting from from this war by 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 getting more aid. for that reason I think even even some international organization are not really uh, professional in their way. They are having some political agenda and they are helping the Houthi to, to confiscate this uh, medicament. For example, if we refer to the discussion one month back or three weeks or four weeks about the Hudayda uh, port, which is the major now source of, of uh, smuggling of uh, arms, smuggling of drugs, smuggling of mm -hmm. uh, also for, for the aid come from the international organization. Al Houthi did not allow anything come out from this port unless it, they take part of it for their military uh, purpose and for, the, for, the, for their own. Mm -hmm purpose, personal l l l l l l l l interest. For that reason, uh, I am not uh, really astonished to, to, to hear that they confiscated medicament or they confiscated. Maybe they will confiscate it and they will put it again in the black market. They will send it or they will sell it to for, for the pa patient directly. Mm. But, but Dr. Hussain, uh, don't you think that these uh, crimes and violations have reached unprecedented level and extent because the, the, the types and kinds of the medical uh, for example uh, when it comes to the uh, these uh, uh, medical uh, devices seized by the Houthis and the the, the militias because patients with uh, kidney failures cannot uh, survive with do the, do you believe them. do you believe these people will care about a patient or uh, Babies or old people, yeah. they don't. They don't care. They don't mm -hmm. care even about if 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 they send, for example, ten thousand to 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 death. They, they don't care about that because they think they are the only people who has the right to dominate and to survive, and the other should be like slaves, slaves in in their surfaces, and that's all. For that reason, all this equipment, all these medicaments confiscated by Al Houthi will be returned back to the market, by in the black market by them, and they will get the money for themselves or for their leader, or they might send it for uh, for army, for for uh, uh, for the military purpose. So the only thing they think about is how to get money. Here is the problem, really. Mm -hmm. What I really I want to discuss it here is the humanitarian aids presented or by 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 this organ international organization of course you remember last or two weeks there's a, a, a in Geneva a donor uh, conference or a meeting for the donors of for yes and the kingdom yes. donated 150 ah. million dollars ah, yes they collected yes. one about 1.1 1 .1, uh, million uh, million uh, 1. milliard dollars and Really, I am not so happy with that. It's not because they collect less money than expected, but because I know this type of organization and mainly the United Nations, how they deal with this money. Believe me, I'm not here uh, accusing the United Nations. I'm not. Yeah, I'm, I'm reading uh, reports from United States. Mm -hmm. from certain committees in the United States in Congress, and they say that only 30 to, to 20 to 30 percent of the money of donors reach to the needed people while 70 percent of the sum 
went for the employees of the United Nations, salaries, traveling, uh, allowance, uh, hotels, uh, cars, uh, all of this. So when I s saw the, the, the number of or the, 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 the sum which have been donated by Saudi Arabia, Emirates, and Kuwait, and other Arab countries, it's around uh, 500 to 600 million dollars. I really, I, I asked them, and if they can do it, they try not to give it to United Nations. They have to manage themselves this aid and send it directly because the cost will be less. And then really, if, 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 if they will spend 70% by United Nations of this sum, to yani, now to, 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 to send one dollar, you have to spend four. Uh, four dollars on it to reach to the to the needed goal. At least, in, if they manage this type of aids, it can reach by less cost. It may be one dollar for one dollar, and, so, and that's good. Yani, at least you will mm -hmm. you will assure that fifty percent will, will reach yani, or half a dollar. That's mean sixty or seventy percent of that some uh, the money itself will reach to the needed goal. But now, unfortunately, millions of dollars have been you know, in the in the in the in the in the, in the, in the uh, colleges of of uh, corruption in United States, with uh, some companies are uh, involved in this, and even United United Nation, United States are uh, they are discussing this this matter and they say they about this corruption. For that reason, I hope that King Salman Center and uh, Emirate Crescent and Kuwait Crescent should manage their aids directly. Because they have the data, they know the region, they can speak Arabic easily, they can, they can do a lot of things, and they, they are not in need to hide some of the part of the money in their, in their pocket, or they are not in to hide this for, for certain companies. They are, they are uh, humanitarian organization, so they can, they can spend it in the proper time. I know there's a lot of difficulties. Everybody knows that there's a lot of difficulties in the distribution of AIDS in, on the ground because we didn't have the culture of humanitarian organization. And you know, uh, people, because they are suffering, you know, there is some uh, discrimination and distribution between region and other, and between people and other, and these things, uh, it is the only th negative aspect of, 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 uh, of this humanitarian aid. Uh, given by 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 the by, uh, by the coalition state uh, humanitarian organization, but the other is okay. And I for that reason I really want to see King Salman Center and uh, Emirati Red Crescent and Kuwaiti Red Crescent to do themselves in action to go in action themselves and to distribute their 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 aid directly to the people and. Instead of giving a ready-made aid, why they transfer part of this aid in type of project? Mm -hmm. Project of culture, uh, project of uh, <coughs> uh, agriculture, project of small work uh, uh, shops, small business in order to improve the income of the people in order to get but them uh, Don't you think that this will come in the future after restoring <coughs> legitimacy to all I parts think, of I think, I think, I think, I think, I think already two years passed since uh, part, uh, the big part of the country have been liberated, yani, and I think in two, these two, one, two years, mm -hmm. uh, we should do a lot. Uh, really, uh, we, are, we were expecting a lot to be done in this period. It's not easy two years be enough time to, to, to establish, okay, uh, there's a lot of things done in the education, in the health system, in uh, electricity, in water supply, that's good. But I think giving some other project to, 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 to create job, to create a so, uh, resource for the people, to create a source of, of, of help itself, for example, will be better. Mm -hmm. So if, if they can plan for that, and instead of giving them a ready-made food, a ready-made no, let them, part of this aid will go in this part of, for example, in the agriculture, for example. And this for small uh, shops, for small works, uh, uh, garage, for example, small factory, small manufacturing, anything. They can, they can do a lot of things, because 
uh, you are talking about million of people. You are not going to feed them the whole year, the whole two years or for two years. For if you can help them for one year, you cannot help them for the second or for third or fourth. So you have to create sort of source of uh, money for them to 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 manage their s themselves without waiting for the humanitarian aid. But this is, I think, if it is managed by uh, the national organization, humanitarian organization in the, in the coalition countries, mainly Saudi Arabia and Emirates and Kuwait, it will be uh, better than uh, to send the money for mm -hmm. United Nations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But some say that, uh, for example, uh, Dr. Hussain, <coughs> we have promising indicators and signs that uh, more than 80%, for example, of the Yemeni territories and uh, lands under the control of the legitimate forces. And this uh, might come in the future. Uh, the, now, another, uh, we have also other crimes and violations committed uh, by Houthis that attest to the uh, brutality of the Kuh militias. Uh, the pro uh, Kuh militias, uh, Dr. Hussein, have confiscated about 1,800 bottles of dialysis uh, solutions, 10,200 packages of sodium bicarbonate, and 200 filters used to uh, disinfect dialysis uh, machines. Uh, how dangerous also uh, or harmful patients would be uh, to them? Uh, well, again, no. the same. This is from the beginning when these people confiscated the state itself mm -hmm. and they are trying to, to, to even to get all the resource and to get all the reserve, for the money reserve of the country and to get, they are not caring about anything. Mm -hmm. They are not caring. They, are, they were not caring and they will not care about anything in the future. Because uh, and they people, won't hesitate, do you mean, to, they, they, to do Those anything. people believe mm -hmm. that they have a divine uh, authority that to 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 rule uh, this country or to rule this area and to uh, the other should be in their surfaces only at any time and they have to to sacrifice for uh, for the uh, for them and to do everything for them this this vision of the of this militia mm -hmm. it's always present in all their actions violation of the human rights, violation of the international laws, violation of the national even laws. F f don't expect that uh, such thing, even if you s you know, if the United Nations accuse them or uh, send them, for example, uh, uh, condemnation of this action, or the, they will not stop because they don't